Welcome. Welcome. <laughs> it is the um the month. And it, I try to get the light. Okay. It is uh, May. Let's see what May has to do with the love reading. So welcome you Aquarians. Um, this is the love reading for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign for the month of May. Let's see how far we go, because trust me, we are going to be seeing what is happening in love for the Aquarian Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. Um, please like and share these videos and let me know what is happening, what is transpiring, and how is it going. Um, let me know how it affects your life as we go on. So this is the love reading for the aquarians for the month of may 2019 let's see what's coming up for you aquarians oh yeah the men are here um the men are here um in the first week so then we have gossip there is a lot of gossip that is going on we have things to do with children and a lot of gossip and it's a past life issue um, that is transparent so a lot of you men are going to be having um, situations that is coming up as past life issues that is going to affect your, your life so uh, be aware of uh, this in the month okay so some of you men there is a lot of uh, gossip that is happening um, so be aware of that then we have issues with past life that is coming up we have love triangles um people from the past with children love triangles we see control issues someone is paying control um we see um the mature women um coming up here we see um the young um females and the mature women we see outbreaks towards a young female so whatever is transpiring i'm seeing a young female is going to be heartbroken okay um so um it's it's, it's right there that a young female whatever the, the situation is a young female is going to be very very much so heartbroken okay whatever is transpiring wow you aquarians Let's see what else is coming out. We have something was destined to happen. Um, then we have a relationship, an open relationship, and we see people are going to be um, soulmate is going to be the center of your month. So whatever is happening, a lot of you could be connecting with soulmate. Okay, soulmate is definitely going to be the center of your month and I'm seeing a lot of dating that is happening so we're going to be looking to see who and what is going to be happening for you guys so the month is centered and the center of your month is with soulmate um, open relationship is a crowning of the month so a lot of you are going to be going through open relationship having open relationship that sort of a thing so this is definitely transpiring whatever is uh, there this sort of an open relationship is definitely transpiring so be aware of that and um be um aware but yet ready um to move on to see what is transpiring some of you there's a lot of gossip with a um a, a, a black guy a lot of gossip okay so um a dark skin guy a dark skin guy could be gossiping um dumb dark skin men could be also want wanting to get to get married want to couple up with someone okay all right let's see what is happening so in the first week we are having a situation with a man 45 years and older where um there's a lot of gossip and it has to do with some of you could have um, um, having outside relationships and people are seeing that um, what is coming up is that for you guys um, it's as if you're not interested in what you have at home 
and you're looking outside for something much better that is the energy that is coming up this as if you're not happy with what is at home and you're looking for more outside stimulation and it is more for the hair sign men okay what else is coming up um yeah you guys are getting a lot of energies in reverse where it's as if you're seeing the truth of a situation um the gossip and whatever is coming out you're seeing definitely the truth of the situation whatever that has been happening by gossip a lot of people are gossip and the truth is going to be coming out okay a lot of people are gossip and and the truth is going to be coming out then we have people already decide hey um this is not working out so i'm moving on and this it, um it's good because some people are going to be returning to the family so it's as if there was a situation where um, uh, um some of you um, dark dark skin men um, what was happening is that you decided to, um, to feel the waters outside and now you're realizing no I'm going back to my family this is not really what I want and this could transpire in the first week going in the second week you never know what is transpiring but the energies of you men and especially the, the, the dark skin man are going to be returning to their families because it's as if I'm not finding what I'm looking for outside you know let me return because um, I'm trying to see what is much better for me okay so past life issues for the Aquarians um, there is a um, situation that has to do with kids I don't know why all your cards are coming up in reverse <laughs> so a lot of you past life people could be dealing with situations to do with your kids your kid father your kids mother um, women could be looking back at the past and thinking oh my god um, if I had known that sort of a thing that is transpired and as we go forward we're going to be seeing more love, love triangles there's gonna be a lot of love triangles that is happening for you Aquarians a lot of love triangles so be aware now the energy of the um, the lovers come up with a love triangle so some of you could be dealing with um, a twin flame but this twin flame wants to have a open relationship and this flame flame he wants an open relationship and you know it's as if you ladies or have to choose between two men so the possibilities exist um, a lot of this is transpiring and happening I don't know this light just don't work with me <laughs> um, so uh, there is a lot of you who are going to be meeting twin flame and soulmate okay this is like a boom the love is going to be hot the love whatever the situation is is the love is going to be so hot okay whatever that is transpiring the love is going to be powerful the love is going to be unbelievable it's going to be off the chart whatever and whoever you are out there you are connected with a soulmate and if you look at this it's as if you're in cloud nine so ladies and gentlemen go for it and that is like the center is, is as if it's going to be happening to a lot of people because it's the energy that is coming off in the month of May beautiful reading love triangles what's coming up with the love triangles okay so with the love triangles the king of swords is in reverse so um, whatever is happening to you men in love in the month of May um, is it's, it's in reverse because you guys are like in some love triangles it's either you're not going to be chosen so if you um, if you are aware that your partner is seeing other people um, in these love triangles you're not going to be the one that is going to be chosen the other person is going to be chosen so for you men who are in love triangles um, the other person will be choose chosen not you okay and it's because um, the other person 
is more suitable for whoever it is okay so um, yeah it's a little bit sad but sometimes it's hold on I gotta push this because I don't know why the light is uh, um, and sometimes is a re rejections is a protection from the the universe the magician is in reverse because there is um, people are dealing with some control issues whatever the control issues is the magician is in reverse okay so it is as if let it go let it go there's too much control and um this the situation needs to be let go because there is too much control there is just too much control so you know your love reading as i'm looking at your love reading going in on in the second week it's it's really really um situations where whenever control with a magician in reverse it's good when the magician is in reverse because you're an air sign person so you're learning to let go of the control issues that is going on okay mature women the mature women um they were closed off for some times where they didn't really want to communicate with anyone but now they're opening up to this love they're opening up to whatever is coming in okay so um, the mature woman has closed themselves off for some times and now they're thinking okay um, let me see what is out there um, could there be something out there you know and this is how they're looking at it because they were standing their grounds and protecting themselves and now they're thinking okay um, let me um, you know open up one window to see what else is out there um, some of you especially people who have kids is more focused on the kids and not on anyone else now the nine of cups is here and this is beautiful because um, some of you young ladies um, is going to be connecting with your twin flame and soul flame okay so um, whatever is transpiring happening some of you young ladies is definitely going to be connecting with your twin flame and your soulmate and this is going to be very good because um, it's as if you guys have been really um, calling up on the universe and asking the universe um, to make your wishes and dreams come true by you meeting the right person okay and this is going to be so wonderful and so positive as we look at past love for you Aquarians we're seeing that some of you are returning um, to some past love um, and this energy that with the past love is that someone is returning in your life and you're trying to work out a situation with this person whoever this person is they're returning in your life and you're trying to work out a situation because this is a past love that is someone who you have um, wish to return in your life and this person is definitely going to be returning in your life and you're definitely definitely is going to be working out so this um, love um this past love that is returning in your life and you're going to be happy so it's as if you had connected to a twin flame or a soulmate and this twin flame and soulmate is showing you that they really want to return and they're going to be returned and you're going to be feeling happy and you both are going to be trying to work out on a situation now destiny is here and it's as if some of you are really seeing the truth of a situation okay some of you are really really seeing a truth of a situation destiny is definitely here and some of you are seeing the truth of a situation with what has been transpiring and what has been happening because you finally realize what has been happening okay um, with a, a relationship in your life it's as if the truth is now coming out with a relationship in your life and you're finally I'm um, seeing what is happening now the energy of the tower is coming down to an open relationship so some of you were in an open relationship and this open relationship you were in is with a twin flame or a soulmate this was a soulmate and what is transpiring is that uh, it's it's coming to an end because uh, um, you are not going to be the one that is chosen they're going to be choosing someone else and it's okay because the universe is protecting you so and maybe you think that it is you know hard um you weren't meant to be with this person that is the reason why 
dating a lot of you are dating but there's a lot of burdens you're carrying so it's as if you're dating but you're just meeting a lot of frogs not your prince okay so definitely a lot of dating is going on for you Aquarians but it's as if you seem to be meeting these frogs and then they want to reconnect with you and then they, they and you're like hey, no uh, no that's not who I want you know I want oh no okay and definitely some of you um, there is there is a, you could be the person and you could be looking for a union okay you could be the person looking for a union out there in a relationship and you're looking for love and um, children you're looking for someone uh, to be connected with and uh, love and children so that sort of a thing okay um, so I'm seeing the seven of cups in reverse because it's as if some of you want kids but you can't find the right guy or some of you young men want to have kids but you can't find the right person and what is happening is that you're deciding um, to walk away and to look for someone um, better or someone who is capable of giving you children okay so this is if um, you guys are going to be looking for better options what is transpiring is that some of you men or women is going to be looking for because you want to have kids and it's as if you are ready to have kids and you're going to decide to move forward and look for a better option because you want to have kids it's as if now is the time you're ready to have kids there's a lot of gossip and the gossip has to do with organization okay whenever this comes up it could be Tauruses but I'm not feeling the energy as the Tauruses what I'm feeling the energy is that it could be at work or it could be around you I'm seeing this as as work and I always say to people do not have relationship at work do not have work relationships because when they get bad and they end it, it's just, and there's a lot of gossip at work. Oh my God, there is so much gossip going on at work, but the truth is going to come out about a situation at work. The truth is going to come out about a situation at work. There's a lot of gossip that is going on and whatever the gossip is, it's, it's, it's going to be coming out. This is a beautiful card. So some of you men 45 years and older um, decide to look outside of your marriage um, because since the kids have been here um, the, the, the love and the sex is not that good so you're looking now outside your relationship for something else so uh, definitely and this could could happen just any time in the month is that some of you um, or in a relationship or a marriage with kids it's as if the sex is as gone or um, the connection has gone and you're going to be looking outside of your relationship um, for something else so um, that is definitely here past life ten of cups past life some of you are dealing with um, people coming back from the past life but it's it's, it's not it's not working out okay people who have come back from the past life it's just not working out some of you are dealing with a Pisces cancer or a scorpion or this person is just like a Casanova he has women or men all over the place this person has a lot of other people they are seen and this person is coming from a past life and it's not working out and you're gonna be thinking I'm not letting you back in my life because you know you haven't changed your ways you're still all over the place with a lot of people so I am letting this go I don't want to deal with this it's better that um, we don't have any connection and and, and this is going to be a very very ba um, better for some of you because ooh, whoever this person is is just not the right person there is definitely some success in relationship that is going to be coming out especially if you're looking um, to connect with someone who wants to have kids so for the people out there who is looking for a mate who wants to have kids 
and this is definitely going to be happening and I'm seeing this energy coming up especially for the people um, these people that you know you're going to be um, deciding to um, look out for people because definitely you want to get married definitely you want to get married and um, it's gonna happen because there's also someone who wants the same thing that you want, and it's just definitely going to be happening for you guys okay so I'm seeing some real success that is coming up also for the soulmate people some real success is coming in now for the love triangle again um, the ending of a love triangle for you men 45 years and older okay it's as if um, you're not the chosen one um, the other person that was in this love triangle is going to be chosen and not you um, sometimes it is better um, it's just the universe protecting you from a devastated relationship okay so sometimes you know you're in a love triangle and you are not the one that was chosen and it is much better let it go because it's the best thing that could ever happen control with the energy of the magician some of you are going to be leaving a very controlling relationship whether you were the person who were controlling controlling in the relationship or someone else was controlling you you're definitely going to be leaving this relationship and moving forward and um, you know re finding yourself again because you're releasing the control issues it could be you or the person in the relationship that is control or it could be someone else that was having control over you and you're deciding to hand this mature ladies you're open to new love and new love is definitely going to be coming in and this is so wonderful because you mature ladies uh, um, was closed off for a time you're opening up yourself now and new love is definitely going to be coming in whatever and whoever that was in your life or um, the reason why you have closed your life off new love is going to be coming in and this is just going to be so powerful and so wonderful because whoever um, out there um, 45 years and older who was just closing themselves off from relationship is going to be in the third week of this month you're going to be opening up yourself and someone new is going to be entering your life who is going to be there for you some of you women younger women your wishes and dreams are going to be coming true um, and transformation so some of you younger women were open for someone a twin flame or a soulmate to come in your life and definitely this is going to be granted because your loneliness is finally going to be over your loneliness you wishing and hoping and and the you were lonely for quite some times and this loneliness is going to be ending and this person is going to be returning in your life so this is really wonderful and positive so transformation for the singles out there so if you are single looking for a relationship open that um, a past love or your soulmate or twin uh, your soulmate will come in there's no twin flame in this reading your soulmate will come in and he he or she is definitely going to come in and your life is going to be changing past life the seven of pentacles okay and definitely someone is going to be reconnecting with a taurus virgo or a capricorn and this is someone from a past life relationship and you're definitely going to be reconnecting with this person um definitely um whatever that was playing whatever the situation is or was that was playing this person is returning from a past life and she wants to work on this relationship just as you want to work on this relationship and it's going to be good okay i don't know this light is just totally ridiculous so so that is good so um expect um a lady 45 years and older that is a taurus virgo or capricorn is going to be returning in your life this is someone from a past life she's definitely going to be returning you guys are going to be working on the relationship now destiny comes up and whenever destiny comes up is that it was meant to be there's not you could have gone east west north and south it was meant to be that you um, found out what was happening with you and this relationship or with a person in your life so 
you know if even the person was wearing a mask and was trying to hide something it is now coming to light because uh, the energy of the hangman is upwards where a person that was pretending it's definitely going to be coming out and now the truth is going to be definitely coming out okay the truth is going to be coming out about this person now the open relationship what is happening with the opening relationship is that the ending of opening relationship which means a tower moment comes when this relationship is going to be released and some of you are planning in the last week to release yourself from an open relationship where it's as if you were seeing multiple partners and you're deciding to just see one of them and this is good because you're definitely realizing that okay I was seeing other people but this is the person who makes me happy this is a person I'm going to stay with so whatever that was happening with an open relationship we're seeing that um, this situation is definitely definitely going to be ending and um, you are going to be finding out what has happened what has transpired and this is good the burdens with dating a lot of you have are dating people and all your meeting is ah, and it's as if I, do I have to go on one more blind date and you're trying to find and push yourself through because you think okay all right maybe I need to take this chance because you never know maybe that person is out there for me and and you're pushing yourself and you know I'm gonna say to you let it go let it go just call upon the universe and said I am now ready for my twin flame and soulmate you know um, let them know so we can cross parts because what you're basically doing is just meeting all these people that it's just making that you're basically just feeling feeling very annoyed with and it is better just to let it go and let things flow so that you can find the right persons coming in your life okay because sometimes you know we meet someone and we think okay just let me yeah because I'm not seeing anyone and then sometimes your girlfriends or your friends push you to go on a blind date and you think this is another missed look this is another missed look and that is what the people who are dating are people who are trying to you know go out on these dates and all you have to do is very simple their infinity universe I am ready for my twin flame or soulmate are they ready for me it is time for us to cross part it is as easy as that ladies and gentlemen you're pushing along um, going and seeing these people being miserable at these dates stop doing that to yourself all you have to do is write it down ask the universe for it and it will be granted as that was in your birth chart so you have to understand um, if it was meant to be and that is why I said to people I always ask for a love reading because in the love reading it will best show up whether or not it was meant to be that you're in this relationship and if it was meant to be the person will definitely come in ladies and gentlemen another month love reading um, these are free so go back and check out the monthly love readings to see um, which one affects you and remember cross what cross what see what's happening for your partner see what's happening for the person you're dating check out your girlfriend what's happening for her or him or she um, you know but for you guys the center of this month is the month where the soulmates are going to be coming in and definitely it's going to be um, the wishes for your soulmate is going to be granted and definitely um, some of you are going to be ending the month uh, being so connected with the soulmate relationship and I want to say congratulations ladies and gentlemen and enjoy this ride because it's going to be a really nice powerful ride that is going to be coming in for you guys so enjoy namaste